Hello everyone, welcome to the Garage Learning. Today, I'm gonna to recreate one of my early splash photography rigs, a bungee cord catapult. This rig and others like it are how I got my start in visual engineering. As a commercial still life photographer, I wanted to create striking imagery of liquids interacting with products. And in the search for these results, I learned a lot about simple mechanical rigs. For example, the bungee cord catapult we have here. This simple catapult is one of my earliest rigs, built with mostly standard studio equipment. And despite its simplicity, it's definitely reliable enough for consistent splash photography results. So here's what our catapult arm is going to look like. It's very basic. I'm working with the C-stand knuckle. To make it, you'll need a piece of wood, you'll need a 3 8 drill bit, some screws, a bucket, and then some attachment points. So now that the catapult arm is all assembled, we can mount it to a C-stand on set. So we got our C-stand bagged down so it doesn't move around. Next, we need to add the bungee cords. Now the other thing that we need is we need this catapult to stop so it doesn't swing all the way around. If it swung all the way around, it wouldn't actually throw the liquid. It would probably just sling it around in a wide arc. So to stop this catapult, I'm tying a rope to the C-stand at the base and then tying off the other end to the bucket end of the catapult arm. So that way, you can pull a lot of tension, then release, and it'll stop. You can see that it stops the same point every time. It's important to note that in order to get the rig working consistently, you need to set it up the same way every time. So fill the container with the same amount of liquid and pull the catapult arm back to the same spot every time. This consistency is very important in creating reliable results. Having a consistent catapult is the first step of the equation. The next thing we need to figure out is timing control, a way to have this catapult trigger the camera to fire. So for this project, I'm gonna use a pocket wizard for timing control. It's normally used to synchronize the flash to a camera. The pocket wizard also has features that allow for timing control. The Multimax has microsecond delay features so you can incrementally adjust the timing between when it receives an input and when it triggers the camera. So for this, the trigger will be a button press going into the input that the catapult will trigger. So to recap quickly, when the catapult presses the button, it'll start a timer on the pocket wizard and then the pocket wizard will fire the camera. So here we have a button trigger meant to trigger a strobe pack that I've connected to one of these modular arms. I'm gonna place this on the C-stand so that at the end of the motion, it presses the button. So now we have our button. I'm gonna put an extension cable on it that'll go over to where the camera is. Once the pocket wizard is triggered, it'll have a tiny delay before firing the camera. In order to set up the pocket wizard, you're gonna need to have a button trigger that you can connect to your input and an output that you can connect to your camera's trigger. These are parts that you can buy online or with some ingenuity, you can make your own. So here we have our trigger input from set, and here we have our trigger output that triggers the camera. So now, if we hit this trigger, the camera should fire, and it does. So we're done with the rig. In essence, it has all the parts it needs. We're gonna have to adjust it to create the splash we want. We need to bring in a subject, but we have this part ready to work with, ready to be adjusted. Next, I'm gonna get a subject, get it roughed in. I'll be back to show you how that turns out. For my subject, I chose the Sosedo bottle. I set it up on a piece of clear plexiglass. I fired the rig over and over again, making adjustments to timing and placement until the camera fired just after the water impacted the product. It took a few tries and adjustments, but eventually I got these awesome results. Thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I'll see you again in the next one.